Hey y'all, welcome to Racing Crafts and Sensational Stamps. My name is Carla and I am a member of the design team at Sensational Stamps. This month we are focusing on Thanksgiving. So, I'm going to use this little guy right here who is called Too Cute to Eat. And I'm going to make a shaker card. It's rather easy. Um, I don't make them very often because they're kind of labor intensive. But I got the Fuse tool from We Are Memory Keepers and it makes a big difference. So, I've got these little um, leaves that I cut using my silhouette. I'm just going to grab a few of these. I don't want to put too many in because I found that when you get too many going, they don't shake as well. So I'm just going to Toss a few of those in. Oops, looks like I need one more yellow. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and set my leaves aside. And I've got some little sequins here on my desk. And I'm going to dump them everywhere, of course. I'm going to pick out some red and some silver you know what now let's just do red a few red and can I go back on lid and I have some glitter that is really kind of cool. I don't know if it will look good or not, but it's from Art Glitter, and it's called Autumn, and it's probably going to just kind of stick to the plastic. And go everywhere. I don't... Oh, that's because I got it on the outside and not the inside, really. Okay. You know what, maybe if those pieces get kind of, oops, mixed up in the glitter, they won't stick to each other so much. Okay, so I put a little glitter in, not a whole lot because it's not doing much. And then I'm going to just use this um, Swiffer cloth to clean my glitter from everywhere. All right. So that's pretty good. Like I said, I don't want to get a whole lot mixed all in there together. And I want them to kind of stay separated as I get them all bunched in together, of course. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to put this aside for a second and I'm going to pull in my So I do need to do that. Okay. So I have just a little bunch of this that needs to come off. And I'm not actually going to follow the design. I tried to follow the design of my die cut image. But that did not work so well for me. It worked very badly for me, actually. Okay, so there's our shaker. And like I said, there's not a whole lot in it. But I'm kind of cool with that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some art glitter glue. And I'm going to run this along the back of my... 
frame here. And I'm just kind of all over the place here, aren't I? And I'm just going to cover that shaker, put that frame right on there. I can move it around a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to give this just a few seconds to dry, and I'm going to set that aside. I'm not going to do any stamping today because I have found that I don't really have any Thanksgiving sentiments. And when I sat down to start this, my computer was doing a restart, so I couldn't just hop on my uh, silhouette and uh, type something out. So we're improvising today. Um, so I am using some labels and stabilities, obviously. Um, and these are lost the little pouch guy who told me who they were. I think these are nine. I will check in in the information bar below you're going to find a link to my blog and it's going to tell you sizes of my paper where it came from and it will also tell you I will include the dies that I used and there will be a link to too cute to eat in the so uh, I'm sorry in the Sensational Stamps uh, store. So I'm just going to adhere my layers together. Um, I'm using some pattern paper from the All Seasons stack from uh, the Paper Studio. Um, it's an old one. I'm pretty sure you probably can't get it anymore, but it's been hanging around and it's time for it to go. So, I'm using it. Here we go. I really should put myself on a paper buying freeze, but I can't. That and stamps, they seem to be my weakness. But that's okay. Alright, so I'm just going to put this blank piece in here. And I will go in later and write a little message by hand. Okay, so I see one little problem here. So I fix that with my fuse tool and then I can just snip this piece all like that. Okay, so there we've got this guy. It's not a whole lot of shaker stuff in there, but it's just enough to have some stuff floating there. Okay, so now I'm going to grab some foam pop dots. I'm sorry, I'm not using foam dots. I'm using pop dots. And these are from Thermal Web. And... I'm going to just kind of put them here and there. And then I'm going to go ahead and just um, throw ATG on the back of Mr. Too Cute here. And I'm going to go over him pretty good, except for his feet. I'm not going to do his feet. Okay. And then I'm going to... Pop him down where I want him, and I'm going to I'm going to come in with some bigger foam dots, foam squares. Um, I got both sizes from Thermal Web. Okay, I just had them. Where did I put the big ones? Because there's the little ones and the big ones. Just 
here. There they are. Okay, so I'm going to put some big ones behind my turkey here. And I'm doing that because it's going to give some support there and nobody will ever see it anyways. So nobody will even know they're there. But it'll give our shaker a little bit of room to kind of shake around. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel. I saw one spot that I do want to pop a foam piece on. Make that too. I'm sorry if you can hear talking and TV in the background. Okay, so I'm just going to peel the backing off of my little foam pieces here. I'm going to just center him on our card. And that's our card for today. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see y'all next time. And there you can see the shaker. It actually works pretty good. All right. I'll see y'all next time.